Howdy. Sorry, still getting a little bit set up. So, I figured we'll play some more Alien Legacy today. I have figured out why sometimes, at uh, night no, it's not enabled right now, but sometimes the green screen on my camera doesn't, doesn't like fully work and it leaves a little bit of like a ghost of the background behind me. It's because I had auto white balance on, on the webcam. Uh, like a big dummy and so depending on what was on screen or what I was wearing or how much of a frame I was taking up it was changing the shade of green behind me so hopefully that's no longer an issue Let me make sure it's starting up let's uh, switch over um, this one and it's not showing why it's not showing Oh, that's why. Cool. Let's start up. Uh... Oh man, no tag completion. I forget these things. I decided to try today this uh, iron beer uh, soda. It's interesting. After entering the beta Kaylee system, I scan for radio frequency and energy emissions and find no evidence of. It has like an orange taste. <sighs> Let's see. Did we name our save correctly? Is the thirteenth last time we played? When is the thirteenth? Thursday? Yeah, yeah, it would be. <laughs> no, don't pause. How do I? How do I unpause it? Uh -oh. There we go. Lowering the cycles down to 30%. Probably shouldn't have upgraded these research labs. I think it is just a huge ripoff, so a little bit of regret there. There's no way to uh, downgrade things, so this is what it is. Let's see. We need level three factories. Generating enough power here. Wow, I have force field saying up all of our power. Alright. Sorry, just let me get back up to speed with what the heck's going on. Wait, why do you have. Uh... Oh, it's because this is running. No, that can't be the only reason. This one uses five energy. Oh, we also have that factory running. Why well, is the factory not running here? Yeah, why not, right? Especially since I mean, look at how much energy we have. Jeez. Okay, those are both good. Up here. Yeah, we're good. We do not need a force field here, so we're actually good here as well. I would like to start upgrading things though, we need 
more humans. Let's transport humans to Ave Maria. It's a lot of humans, but it's worth it. I'll send back a shuttle. Just because I'm, I, don't know, I feel like we only need to keep one ship at each colony. people here, maybe we'll be able to upgrade at least one of these. Or would we not be able to? Should we have um, not built all four of these yet? Do I have to fill up all four of these to a certain percentage before it lets me upgrade? I don't know, but that's what we're holding off on there. Parmesan. We need another power plant here. We do not have robots. Offline, online. Offline, online. That should give us... Oh, uh, we, we shouldn't start building it yet. Once this goes back to normal, then we'll see. We should have a couple more robots. Everything just uses so many. So if we do that, I think, one more time, then we'll have enough. fix our power issues here. And once we have robots back up, then we need to start getting a third um, level 2 building. Yeah. That didn't bad. Already has three level 2s. Um, three. Oh, we have four level 2s for power. this thing running. Yeah, let's just see where that gets us. platforms down, so that's good. But we want humans, we want to upgrade the habitats. Babby does have upgradable habitats. So what are we waiting on here? We have two level 2 factories. We 
have two level two power plants, and we only have one level two habitat, so there we go. We'll just upgrade one thing at a time. I want to start upgrading too many things at once. Megalodon, we have nothing. Spire, nothing. Billy base, Billy base. Oh, okay, we have two of each. What do we need the most? We need more ore. Production, mining. After that, we will surely need more power and then more life support, so. Well, we'll see. We'll see if we can build those once um, that's done and we have robots again. Kiwi, how are you doing now? Uh, we can sit in the red for a little bit. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Aegis. Oh uh, yeah, we don't care about that yet. Porpoise. I do care about Porpoise. So I already have one level 2 factory. And one level 2 power plant. Looks like we have enough humans now to get a level 2 habitat. Nice. I'm gonna set this up, mass driving back to um, the Aegis. And we'll be able to set up the Aegis properly. Uh, colony. Okay, this is our third Gaia colony. What do we need here the most? We need this thing. Jeez. It just needs so many robots. I guess we can take some robots with us. It's so nice having 5,000 energy now. Okay. Shields coming online. That'll throw this whole thing out of whack, so we'll have to come back and check. Actually, is there anything cool nearby? Sure, science. Not the good stuff, though. The receding bay has left large deposits of gypsum strewn along the surface. More. Bones from half of a fossilized creature have been weathered from the rocks and are now exposed to the elements. the water's edge, you find a slick, sludgy film, similar to oil. I guess the Tantalus was here polluting before us. Huge sheets of magma recently covered this area, so this oil contains many unusual sulfur compounds. some physics that's more useful. A massive earthquake recently recently shook the island, causing it to sink four meters into the water. Sweet. Okay, there's more. Your instruments detect continual disturbances in the force in the Van Ellen radiation belts high above Gale. 
feel like we've had that before. I remember questioning something about using that terminology. Fault lines are readily discernible in this region. Yes, yes, yes. Wave action has smoothed the faces of several boulders, so they resemble 12 sided dodecahedrons. Let's play some DD. Check um, the space station at Rhea. See how the heck they're doing. Edges of this island show signs of erosion by acid rain. Your instruments detect the traces where a comet exploded high in the air above this place. That is the best. Huge puffy seeds blow along. Oh, okay, static puffs. More static puffs. I don't know how it's really teaching us anything about electronics, though. Send this ship back home. Let's see what the heck is Emilicious doing. Labs, that's what we're doing. Really, we have minus four. Hopefully we have enough robots to handle that. Kiwi is sending ore, right? Yeah. Weird. Can we invent things? Okay, missiles, we badly need math. I think missiles take priority. Um, yeah, for both, oh geez. Look at that, we need so much math. Really, everything except for math, we're pretty okay. Um, so this would need three more math that we'd have to obtain, but it's pretty low, low cost other than that. Maybe I'll go ahead and just we aren't doing nothing. Habitat finished updating. Do we have enough robots to upgrade more stuff? That's it. So upgrading our mining factories make them take twice as many robots. Upgrading a power plant. Two more. So six robots if I do another pair. 
That sounds reasonable. Upgrade. Upgrade. Uh, what's the robot delta here? Just two? Upgrade. Nice. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's see, what's in our PDA? Energy Sighting Space Station. We'll do that once Porpoise is up and running. Build Space Stations at K and Rhea. We do have that already. Research Lab at Rhea Planet Side. We've got that. And we have to do a bunch of stuff in Thetis. Can we get to Thetis? How about that? Ship from the Aegis. Can you go probe? You can. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's do it. Luca, you have a ship. Can you please go probe Cronus? We don't always get these chances, so... Uh, let's see, do I have a vehicle factory? just keeps going up even though we're at minus 54. It makes no sense. I don't know if we've triggered some sort of a weird bug. I, mean, I guess like, you know, 2000 or something, I'm just going to stop sending more. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Are we still draining all the ores elsewhere? I can't tell. Has this gone down since we last looked at it or not? Scientist out of here. Well, I'll leave her. I'll leave her there. Calypso. Four habitats. Wow, so we should be able to actually support quite a lot at Emulicious with, theoretically, a single mass driver shipment. Okay, level 2 power. Um, we could build another robots factory. Triangulating the origin of the strange signals, we've located two sources of unknown design. They reside at coordinates J3 and A6 on Rhea. Alright, I'll be right there. You know what, screw it. This is vehicles. So if I dismantle all my labs on the Calypso, can I... Can I rebuild them at level 1? like a huge waste, but maybe I should just try it. I don't think it'll work, though. Let's see. So we don't need a lab running planet side on Kiwi. Power plant. And that 
car is still building G's. To Commander Williams, yeah. Be the pylons be let my team and I research their technology, their power source before the militia. Brute force is their way to a puzzle again. Alrighty. Sir, my gut instinct tells me these things could be dangerous. For the sake of our personnel, I feel we should seek out and destroy whatever these signals are. No matter what scientist Halsman says, there's no reason to leave these things on the planet. They are connected directly to the biota's hostility. Destroy them while we have the chance. It's now or never. I mean, I'm <laughs> going to leave and save. Save game. Yeah. This where my nose is really itchy. So let's see. I either haven't done anything though, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, we lost uh, a ship and three humans, but I don't think they had anything to do with um, the biota. The ship was us crashing. I don't know what the three humans are from, to be honest, but but that was the same reading that we had last time. Probes and stuff, I guess we should just be exploring. What is my purpose? Good. We set up some instruments to collect data on the numerous small moons that orbit Zeus. Methane snowfield, someone has trampled a message into the flat surface. It reads, I graduated from the Gain School of Mathematics, Sector I-9, and I'm damned proud of that. I also have two noses, and I'm proud of that. I've also seen the pylons, and I... da da da. Okay then. Got two noses. Okay, we're studying Zeus clouds. 
Whoa. Why is this uh, area made out of, like, our ecto cooler? Quartz and ice prisms refract Beta Cayley's spectrum onto the gray rock face. Okay. This ridge seems to be crumbling away as the ice surface slowly subsides. The sides of this ridge show how alternating methane and ammonia snows have built up into green and yellow ice layers. So this is just like gross, poisonous snow. Surface water ice contains numerous capillaries of liquid ammonia, which make the area look like delicate lace. That teaches me mathematics. Sure does. It's one of the highest and coldest places on Hebe. Okay, well, he's got some more math. detect a large liquid ocean deep under the surface snow and ice. Oh. Plate tectonics have caused have caused this area to subside. The ice walls look like stepped terraces. Learning math but not grammar. Pick up a fascinating green crystal. Analysis shows it is water ice colored by methane. Let's find all the cool stuff. find a human inside an ice block. He melted the ice with a laser and let the water freeze around him. He holds a message. Captain Grieg went crazy all of a sudden, tried to blast off in the rescue shuttle while it was still tied to the gantry. I was the only one who didn't die. Lucky me. that crystal was something that actually goes into our inventory. So if I crash the ship now, do I just not get it? You find a message someone carved into a large ice sheet with a laser. Everyone from Hera smells like rotten eggs! Good to know that the Tantalus colonists were very mature. Set up an instrument station to study the clouds. How many of these things do we set up across the planet? Jeez. Actually, I guess having a bunch of them spread out would maybe help them, um, like seeing the 3D features of the clouds. Where 
if we send those humans, Abe, Maria? Yes. one of each upgrading and if we need to we'll set up another um, mass driver on Parmesan not Parmesan, Ave Maria going to Rhea change all these over to math. What am I doing? Change production math. Change production math. Uh, yeah, it should be fine. Okay, we're already at 11 math. We just need a little bit more. Yeah, Nutara's ore is going down. Hmm. What do we do about that? be doing is upgrading um, or building colonies at other asteroid bases. Can we do a whole nother round? I think that we can. Entry of the pilot's log reads, Our orders are to relieve Dr. Carlos Morales, researchers group, in the Sector 22. No response from lab for two weeks. Sector 22. Okay, we're pretty close. Jeez. 
find some quartz rocks containing false topaz. Very interesting. This must be the lab. Yeah, we might as well grab all this. dome that once belonged to a miner, you find a message scrawled on the wall. I'm heading for Gaia. Don't care what's happening there. Gotta save my family. Indeed. Let's go get some science. Billion years ago, shortly after the system was formed. Organic molecules which may have originated on Rhea or Gaia. You collect stone samples that may prove useful in conducting experiments with. Cherenkov radiation. I don't know. Cherenkov. compounds are mixed with the ore in this area. is online and we're still all in the green amazing
This was the area's military command. In a locker, you find old orders sealed in plastic. Investigate rumors of ore rich asteroid in Beta Asteroid Belt. Tons of stuff. Well, not tons of ore, but a wee bit of ore. At the bottom of what appears to be an ancient seabed, you find some lovely blue. Oh. You detect the main area's dump, which is being buried under the blowing sand. A box filled with plastic political banners catches your eye. There are no pylons on Gaia. All politicians lie. Okay. I'm surprised it's not, you know, the government put the pylons there, trying to brainwash the, I don't know, masses, the 5G towers. Shards of deep blue crystal. In a deserted DeVries Company all terrain van, you find an old newspaper. Scientists detect approaching spacecraft at 30 AU. Is it Calypso or another Harak warship? Citizens panic! Another Harak warship. Devry's company outpost, you find a bag containing hundreds of small rubies. All the rubies have major flaws and are worthless. Like you. time a little bit, I guess. In an overturned DeVry's company transport, you find a bag containing tiny green emerald crystals. This military shuttle crash landed when it ran out of fuel. A computer printout that's left behind reads, Since her rack hole has proven impenetrable, suggest we attack eight pylons on each world while we still can. Eight pylons. Are there only eight, or is that a specific trigger for something? You know, destroy eight pylons on each. And now. Is this sector clear? No. Oh, lovely. Captain, the biota are becoming more intense in their attack. Oh man! Reports of several large biota Finally. massing near D2 have sent our people into a panic. I really feel that we must create and maintain Delstar generators at every colony where we can. Finally. Maybe our only defense against the planet itself. I'm 
I'm greatly concerned for our safety and continued presence on Gaia. You'll be fine. Captain, the large groups of biota the Governor De Palma was referring to are easily visible from the Mercator map. We must try and save our colonies. I suggest we launch our ships to manually attack the biota on planet side. Our ships are equipped with lasers and plasma bombs. We should be able to destroy groups of the vile creatures with our weapons. We have four shields. I'm not worried at all. This era was battered by meteorites. Twisted machinery litters the ground. This may have been the colony of the main oxygen generating plant for Ares. dispatch center you find a file cabinet marked top secret it is open and empty except for one report it reads the metal alloy found at sector a4 shows remarkable properties have our mining camp on the asteroid search for more of the alloy hmm a4 on some asteroid it's not specific enough to be helpful numerous beautiful yellow crystals embedded in a rock outcropping. employees mined red quartz from the cliffside. Is quartz something that you go out of your way to mine? I don't feel like it would be, but who knows. I'm sure there's some sort of, I don't know, industrial application for quartz, but you find equipment for digging deep into the Eresian Eresian, I don't know, the ground to locate frozen subsurface water. Blowing sand has blasted the machinery and made it useless. You find the body of a woman who committed suicide by opening her faceplate. In her hand is a note. No contact with Gaia or Rhea. They're all dead. Calypso will never come. I'm alone. Goodbye. Uh, if you're just patient, lady. of the DeVries Company, you find the bodies of several hundred employees who died when the oxygen generating plant went down. Wow, that stinks. almost crashed our ship. <sighs> Jeez. Um. Okay, pretty much everything's upgraded and working here. Let's just leave it be. I was 
one said, guess not, we aren't um, mass driving. We don't actually need this factory online. But, but maybe we should wait till our ore is built up a bit more. Abe. So two turns left with that upgrade. this one next. And we might as well just go ahead and do that. Upgrade. Cool, one turn. How long before we have vehicle factory? That's a lot of turns. What, ha what happens if I make this the vehicle one? Jeez. Oh, thank goodness. See any. I like it though, I like the music. Just a button? Yeah, let's leave it. This is just another. What do you mean? I was just there and I didn't see anything. What? Okay, what the heck are you talking about? Damage. They haven't destroyed anything at all. And we haven't hurt any of them. What do you want me to do? There's nothing here. We're perfectly safe. Uh, just freaking 
freaking out over nothing. Okay, we should be good for fuel. find what appears to be a rock vein studded with emeralds, but they prove to be green crystals of peridot. Worthless peridot. Inside a damaged shuttle, you find a body. The pilot scribbled a message before dying. Curse McGuffey for finding the iron asteroid. It's alive! Oh, it's not this asteroid, right? The iron asteroid. The iron stomach. Find half a blood splattered comic book. It's a lurid science fiction story, the Harak Horrors. It tells of an alien ship disguised as an asteroid that controls rampaging terrestrial beasts via giant pylons. The end is missing. Was that supposed to be like kind of meta, or was there someone making comics about, like, the apocalypse that they were going through? <sighs> Let's see what other vehicles we have just doing nothing. So we should have a Cronus report next turn. Oh, this is beautiful. Could just look in my PDA and see where they want me to go. Half buried under a methane snowdrift is a snowmobile. In the glove compartment is a message. I saw the lights in the sky and went mad. They twisted my mind. They bring death. Don't let them touch your mind or you will die. Okay, that's a fun message. Observatory, you find notes some astronomer left behind. Even though the Harak spore ship did not move far when its engine started, it moved far enough to determine its probable target. The star baked up Kaylee. I don't see why it would try and fly into the sun. Me either. Me either. Unload. Let's go grab that life support. Nice. 
red crystals catch your attention. They turn out to be ice crystals colored by ammonia compounds. Jeez, all their energy. Let's see, it was uh, down here somewhere, right? Exhaust all of the cool, cool things to find. A shuttle has crash landed here. The frozen bodies of the dead crew are still at their stations. Stations. The last entry of the captain's log reads: Herak ship still active. Last attempt to land at Rhea caused dormant biota to turn hostile again. Have jury rigged a few hibernation chambers, and will try to reach Calypso en route to Beta Cali. Jeez. Oh, I wonder what happened then. Now that's a terrifying thing, being out like on a ship in cryo sleep, just sailing to nothing. What the hell is that? In a technician's apartment in the biodome, you find a backup tape of a video letter sent to Hades. The unknown woman says, the new research center is at Sector G20. They're investigating the metal that shows biochemical reactions. Can't wait for my transfer there. I hate the cold. See you soon. What the hell's this thing? You've located a missile launcher from the Tantalus colonies. On board, you uncover five missiles, one of which is still usable. How do I obtain the missiles? Do I have to come back? Do I have to blow it up? That doesn't make sense. I'll just leave it there for now. If I find usable missiles, the last thing I want to do is blow them up. At a weather station, you find a note taped to the front door. Hey Maria, I'm being transferred to our mining colony at Sector D7 of the Alpha Asteroids to do more tests on that unusual alloy they've been mining. Don't freeze your toes off, darling. Uh, so what, these are... Seems like a weird way to tell someone that you're going to another celestial body entirely. Like, imagine even, like, in the real world, just taping a note to a friend's door and be like, Yo, I just went to Seattle or something. Later. Like, that just seems weird. specify which alpha asteroid either, which is very annoying. You unexpectedly trigger a message by a rescue beacon to the Calypso crew. For God's sake, find the alien spacecraft hiding in the beta asteroids and destroy it. It can control the flora and fauna of the terrestrial worlds, turning them against you. We lost our colonies on Rhea and Gaia, and now our outposts are dying off one by one. Oh, there's energy right there. Sweet. Well, we have a ton of energy here now. You find a box marked Habercrombie in Industries. Inside are some green crystals that have been shattered by a fall off a truck or shuttle. Yeah, let's take as much of this as we can handle. Okay, 
this sector actually has reasonable amounts of energy instead of, you know, single stack just filling my whole cargo bay. Oh. Well. Spoke a little soon. assembly plant of the Habercrombie Industries plant, you find the prototype of a new robot brain. Unfortunately, the extreme cold of Thetis has damaged the prototype. That sounds sweet. The research on robot brains done at Habercrombie Industries on Thetis had piqued the interest of our own roboticists. They hope to reconstruct the materials being developed by Tantalus Collins. I'm all down for that. Get that life support. Our engineers hope to create a method in which exotic metal alloys mirror the self duplicating process of DNA creation. I have no idea if the process will be useful. That doesn't even sound um, plausible. <laughs> Yo, hey. How's it going, Tafo? <laughs> How was your Tuesday? I'm sorry I wasn't able to catch uh, you streaming yesterday. I was tied up. up through deep snowdrifts. Examining the shuttle more closely shows that it's empty. Great. Great waste of time right there. Uh, doing pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. It's been real busy at work, but luckily I get to just unwind now. boat flutters weakly in the thin, thin me methane breeze. An ice boat. What does that mean, an ice boat? Why would they have built boats here? enough robots to actually start doing stuff here. We, oh, yeah, we need humans. Uh, Omega needs humans. Transport. That might be too many humans. Hopefully 
those humans will have to upgrade our habitats. here now. Too few robots. We have plenty of robots here though. But we need humans. F4 needs humans. Six plants. I didn't even see any out there. Oh, 
Venus is the moon of Poseidon. Okay. Right, so this is mostly useless. Did we not do it already? Hermes Sector 22. Yeah, we'll go there. Wait, did we not complete this yet? Crap, do I still need this to be electronics? I thought that we completed that task. Hermes. Let's go check out Sector 22. Doesn't look like there's anything cool there, but... Killed some of my humans and destroyed one of my ships. Great.
I don't see anything around here. find evidence of massive burning. Bones are everywhere, indicating that thousands of animals and many humans died in the conflagration. Uh, sweet. Sounds like a barbecue. are driving the animals insane and so they're trying to kill us all. I'm gonna send all my colonies on this planet out to space so they don't get destroyed. <laughs> yes. In this case, I have a choice to either start just destroying the pylons in the hopes of stopping the animals or studying them to try and figure out what is causing the signal that's driving everything insane. That's what I'm hoping, hoping to do instead of just destroying them all. Starcraft? Or did you just know the meme? I love Starcraft, so... play any um, RTS games? Like Command and Conquer or... I don't know. Besides that and StarCraft, I can't think of much else. Warcraft and Dune 2000. Definitely not for everyone, so. Maybe I'll just send ships out to the beta asteroids. I don't know which ones I've already colonized, though. Beta 5. 
five, bit of four, bit of six. Oh, I actually have something to attack now. Space Colony. Um, is it like um, more like RimWorld or something, or more like a SimCity in space, or? I like games like that too. I like um, Terraforming Mars. It's a pretty cool game. No, oh, not Terraforming Mars, that's a different game. What am I thinking of? Um, no, I have to look it up. Surviving Mars. City Skylines people. <laughs> wow, that sounds fun. So I talk to you. I'm gonna have to see what, see what that game is, is like. That sounds pretty cool. stream it again, uh, I would definitely watch. Are you playing any games right now that you're not streaming? Like uh, that new Resident Evil game or something? get done streaming is I 
that's a good game. I like any any of the Jedi games actually, but we have a lot of robots here all of a sudden. your days. Pretty good. I hope. Just like... It was a cool looking hat. Feel like felt form of structure or presence that we have built on real. These tendencies towards violence parallel the events occurring on Gaia. I'm sure that this is no mere coincidence. There has to be some kind of connection between these two worlds going hostile. I really feel that we must create and maintain Dell Star generators at every colony where we can. They may be our only defense against the planet itself. I believe our being here on Rhea is the cause. I believe we should put evacuation plans in place immediately. Is it a felt Dora? We need to do something to slow down the attacks by the hostile life forms against our colonies. Hmm, I just had an idea for a way to counterattack them. Perhaps we can design a plague that will affect only the native life form. Make a research lab on any planet type. Genocide all the animals. Biology. Vehicles. Who's in orbit? already there. We found some shards of blue crystal, but they're just part of an exploded computer. Oh, okay. 
that bowler hat. That's a lot of butts. A field trip. You went on a field trip and bought a hat? Is it a, a hat without historical significance? Is that branded with the place you got it or something? Or is it just like a regular hat? It did look cool, so it's kind of weird to go to a gift shop and just buying a regular hat. Indeed, I guess you know hats are are important. but we found the pylons. We know where a whole bunch of them are now. It wasn't- the bot wasn't saying anything before you got on Ace. I find that hilarious. It waited for you. It knows how much you love it. Probably our taste. They're made of alien matter. Like, what am I doing? Oh yeah, there's this missile base. Face hugger stew. Wouldn't it be highly acidic? So I found this missile launcher earlier, and I'm not sure how to collect the missiles from it. The only thing I can do with it is destroy it. mod that lets you eat head crabs. That's a little bit like eating face huggers. It's like a face hugger a little bit, but it like clamps onto the top of your head. You don't know what a face hugger is? Or, I mean, a head crab? Let's see. I can find a picture. It 
there, um... You've watched a little bit of me playing Half-Life Alex. There are things that look like, uh, uh, raw chickens. They have, like, little spiky legs, and they clamp onto the top of your head. No, I mean, they don't... They aren't chicken-shaped. But they're chicken... Textured. Like... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. In-game, if you pick one up and look real close, it looks like... Poultry skin. <laughs> I can't describe that any better. Native life forms uses different nucleotides than our DNA. We think we can create a drug that will specifically attack the native antibody systems in the major flora and fauna. As far as we know, our Terran biota will not be affected. However, we cannot promise that the plague will not affect. This sounds horrible. I'll go ahead and invent it though. Just keep it in our back pocket, you know, just in case. In case we need to kill everything that is living on these planets. Jeez. Oh, actually, maybe, maybe it's Rhea Sector 22 I have to go to. all-terrain vehicle containing a few empty cargo boxes. One box labeled Alpha Asteroid 3 Quartz Samples contains rock samples of unusual texture. Uh, I don't think we have a base on Alpha 3 yet. Maybe that's where we should go next.
and we have nothing at Alpha 3. You, go to Alpha 3. probe you find the flight recorder you manage to extract the words changing course for hebe sector f11 to investigate unusual mineral deposit hebe f11 hebe f11 all right See if it's cleared. Damn. We already found the unusual metal. on human. 
got to do the same for Kimi. Okay, and then on that side. Find a pylon that was obviously constructed by an alien race. I'm just gonna leave it be. And look, another. Alrighty. It's here. get up and get a drink soon. You find a pile of jade jewelry someone was trying to bury. Most of the jade has been bleached by sunlight and is very brittle. enough math. Oh. A monstrous crocodilian creature, some 20 meters long, floats on the gentle waves. As it senses your approach, it ducks underwater. Crocodiles underwater. I wonder if any of my ships have actually reached their destinations yet. I guess there's, there's only one more pair left to find. Well, let's go, let's go take a look, let's humor them. It'll just be more pylons. C28, I34. Yep, it's a pylon. 
What's the other one? I-34. Yep, another final one. But I think there'll just be two more, because we did find that note saying that there are eight on each planet. Oh, what should we name our Beta 2 colony? Asteroids, it's not really an asteroid, it's a spaceship. Part of the surface of this asteroid was melted by some kind of energy beam. Okay, that's promising. Why would someone be shooting a regular asteroid with energy beams? Pressure domes once formed the offices of Habercrombie Industries. A torn paper catches your eye. First pilot to pinpoint the location of the fabled iron asteroid wins an all expense paid vaca vacation. Okay, so this maybe isn't the fabled iron asteroid. Disappointed. hoping that we found it. Embedded in the dark asteroid stone are some flecks of golden crystal. Okay, that's all the really cool stuff on the planet. Let's just get science. Please be math. Nope, physics. Instruments detect a ringing in the stone core of the asteroid. A ring. This has got to be the one, right? I feel like that's pretty sus if you hear ringing from inside your asteroid. This basin contains boulders rich with iron sulfides. Yep, a ringing. There's a ringing, alright. Chemistry find. The surface rock contains small pockets of helium. What would that mean? Rocks contain fascinating chaotic patterns made by numerous mineral types. The Chaos Stone. Wow, that's a lot of chemistry.
He determined that, unlike the Alpha Asteroids, these asteroids were never part of a planet. Orange crystals, similar to quartz and nice. Follow a Hermes? I don't know how that's pronounced. Follow a gash in the stony surface to the west. said niece when pronouncing it, but I don't know. Nice. I can't even remember now which one I normally say. So maybe it's not this asteroid. Let's try beta 1. And we'll take a little bit of the sweet, sweet energy with us. Escape pod containing a dead human. He still carries his battle report. Attacked the Harak ship and took out most weapon systems we knew of. My team's wiped out. Looks like I'm history too. Alrighty. Uh, we need energy back. if we need to use it. The most efficient way to search a planet. Several crates sit next to a shuttle hangar. Their contents are gone. They're addressed to Hermes Mining Camp, Sector C0. It looks as though the last number was scratched out. Totally worthless planet. Not planet, asteroid. You know what I mean. Oh shit. An abandoned spaceship suffered massive damage in combat. Sprayed on the exterior is a message. For being a bunch of dead aliens, those racks sure know how to kick butt. Um, alright. So what, this is a, a military pilot or something maybe? Crashed. to like block the word famous. 
two of them at the same time. Come on. Get out of here, a lot of wood. It's a weird name for a bot. Normally the bots have like strange names. If that was a bot. Maybe the first one was a bot and they just copy and pasted the message for some reason? I don't know. An abandoned spaceship. Oh, oh, yeah. So, their ship crashed and what, they decided to spray paint a compliment to the enemy on the outside of their ship before they die? It sounds very strange. I'm, I'm unimmersed by this. <laughs> Indeed. Got him. Okay, so this asteroid was a waste of time. It's beta. Do I finally have missiles now? What did it look like? We do, we do have missiles now. The Leibowitz fuel nozzle allows a large missile to be fired from the cargo bay of a spacecraft. If hit by a laser, the nozzle sprays a reflective material on the missile body, greatly reducing the damage the weapon suffers from subsequent laser attacks. It's kind of weird. I don't think the animals are going to be shooting lasers at me. Out in space. Okay, we have some green blobs. Let's just clean those up real quick. Oh, I'm gonna get a drink actually. Hello? OB? 
guess. There we go. Just took it a moment. Probe Hades? No. They've only killed one of our ships and uh, 88 humans. I guess that's still 88 too many though. Cactuses need a drink every once in a while. But yes, I will endeavor to be more cactus like. Does that mean I should be spiny as well? should drink less, but I just can't help myself. Look. The LV Hanois has been studying the effects of the scripture cross, and even though that mirror proved to be useless to us, its crystalline structure has turned out to be most unusual and maybe worth investigating. Is that the weird slime looking thing that we invented? I don't even know. What is the spritzer quartz? I get like a Brita filter or something. I don't know. Uh, the 
ice and my soda will melt though, and that's a little bit of water. A little bit of regular water mixed in. That's what the heck is a spritzer quartz. We've found a fourth set of origin points. These appear to be at sectors B39 and F42. Sir, these seem to be the last of the origin points located on Rhea. Oh, we're still inventing this. So what's spritzer quartz? Captain, we have detected a strange signal being broadcast <gasps> towards the third and fourth planets in this system. The signal is originating in the beta asteroid and is repeating continuously. Unfortunately, we cannot seem to locate the exact position of the source. It seems that the signal is coming from several places simultaneously. It is my theory that the close proximity of the other surrounding beta asteroids is causing reverberations and echoes. We should send some probe ships to the surrounding asteroids to pinpoint the exact location of the signal. Ready. Yeah, I guess I could try it. Be a lot better than buying uh, smart water every week. What do I have in the bad asteroids still? That's enough probes. And not the Techmanager PDA. out of ore in Ace's Alley. Oh, we have a ton of ore here. And a decent number of robots, too. Let's upgrade. Wow, 
why do I have so many level 2 power plants? Upgrade. 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 Oh, can't upgrade. Need life support. Tap water is kind of weird, like certain times of year in particular. It'll uh, just have like a really strange chemically taste. It's not even all the time. asteroid and then gave up. Sure. This is not very good to mine. should automatically like be set at 500 or something weird. I don't know. You can use the air fryer broiler. Sorry. <laughs> we are detecting the medium strength signal near the first beta asteroid. We should continue searching the belt. What are you telling me that again?
Yeah, let's just send it back to Calypso. Tell us whether it's closer to beta one or six. Iridium content in the soil indicates that a meteorite struck this area in ancient times. Yeah, I'm just gonna have colonies on its own. Mathematics. 
eight turns, we'll have finished inventing Silly Buddy. Fifty more for our poison that will probably kill us too. Okay, and that's all that's currently being invented. Let's just make some time pass, I guess. I'll up the speed for a little bit. a lot of math to invent. Let's see. How are we doing damage wise? Oh, they killed two of my robots. That's no good. Oh, can upgrade factories again.
Okay, there. Ave Maria is now on par with our other colonies. Parmesan. upgrades everywhere. taken care of now though. Hopefully I have enough robots to actually run this all. Yeah, we do. Sally. Okay, which ship is it? Come on. Yeah, yeah, the ship is destroyed. Captain, we've lost contact with another vehicle near the Beta asteroid belt. I can't seem to determine why some vehicles have simply didn't. Oh, a human pilot. Okay. Humans. We don't have enough humans to man the force field. Over here. I'm dangerously low on humans. Crap. We're actually going to have to go fight some of those.
this big sea monster looking bug mandible of dudes. couple more. his habitat's to another, to another level. Oh, that's weird. Uh, this 
so I really hate Ace's Island. That seems to be where they're ganging up. Sorry, Ace. Better robot brains seems important. We are detecting a very weak signal near the eight beta atom. Okay. Earth orbit. No. Earth orbit. Beta eight. So it's not near beta eight. Six, one of seven, they're triangulating. 
and hopefully, since I think Beta 3 is where we keep having a ship destroyed, hopefully the human pilot will be able to handle that. power plant. We might not need it, but... And hopefully we can fill up this new habitat to get our humans back up. scrambler or interceptor I can invent that would work better than trying to poison all the animals. If I, if I can detect the signal, which I can, I should be able to figure out some way to block it. finely filamented ferns. Bursts of yellow, red, and blue on the ground fool you into thinking that they're flowers. Closer examination reveals that they are sucker mouths on long tendrils that emerge from a conifer. The plant supplements its diet with flesh. All the plant life just wants to murder. Why did we colonize a planet with such hostile plants? That's good enough for now. The colony should be safe. Seventeen turns to so hit that probe there. Oof. Uh, 
that should keep us okay for the 21 turns until this power plant's online. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to call it there for the night, I think. And in about a half hour, I have to play some Quake 2 with some pals. So, see ya. Uh, Thursday, I'll be going all the way to 10, but not today. Thanks for, uh, thanks for chilling. Thanks for hanging with me, though. And have a good night. Bye.